Hey everybody, my name is Ashley Rush and I'm an independent creative memories advisor located in North Carolina. I've really been enjoying reaching you guys across the country and even some people from different countries. I'd love for you guys to comment and tell me where you're from just so we can see how far this video is spreading. All right, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a cute little note that can actually be held inside of its own envelope. You're going to need the smallest circle pattern for the custom cutting system, so that's the four inch circle, the red blade, an eight by eight sheet of cardstock, your trimmer with the scoring blade, you'll need decorative paper, and possibly a set of scissors. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is put my scoring blade inside of my 12 inch trimmer. If you guys would like more tips on how to use your trimmer, make sure you guys check out my trimmer playlist that I have here on the channel. Now we're going to take our 8x8 sheet of cardstock and I'm going to use my trimmer and I'm going to make scoring lines at the 6 and 2 inch marks. So we'll start with six. Then move down to two. Once you have your six and two inch score lines, you're gonna give it a one quarter turn and repeat. Again, six and two inch scores. You guys can now set your trimmer aside. You shouldn't need it for the rest of this video. Now here's where the fun part comes in. First, you need to center your paper on your 12 inch cutting mat. So for an eight by eight, that means you wanna have your, um, your paper on the two inch margin. So we've got the two line here, we've got the two line here as well. Um, and that'll happen to coincide with our 45 degree lines on the mat. Great, now you guys are gonna take that four inch circle and as you guys can see, I have put some little black dots accentuating the 90 degree marks on my circle. If you guys missed my video doing this on the jumbo circle, make sure you guys tune in. So these dots are gonna help me line up my circle. First thing I'm gonna do is line these on the opposite side up with my score line. It's very faint, but it'll be around the eight inch mark here on my mat. So now I know that's where my circle needs to be that way. And then I'm gonna make sure that this top black dot is lined up with the 90 degree mark or the six inch line. Once I have my circle template in place, it's time to cut. I'll be using my red blade. and you're gonna put your little feet on the outside track and you're going to start your cut from this score line and bring it all the way to the opposite side. It's okay if you're a little short or if you've gone a little long, your scissors will help you correct any mistakes in a later step. Now we're just gonna give our paper a quarter turn. We're gonna line it up again in the center of our mat and we're gonna repeat this process on all four sides.
we now have the base of our card. If you've cut completely precisely, the base of the card will come apart from the outside. If you're like me and you may be misaligned ever so slightly, you will just need a pair of scissors to snip it free of the outside layer. Now you'll fold these half circles on the score line into the inside of your card. And you'll get a very cute little envelope in which to write and hold your note. This is the perfect size to hold a post-it, um, a gift card. You can write directly on the cardstock or you can write on a sheet of paper and adhere it to the middle. Now I'm gonna take a quick time out so I can decorate. I'll come back in just a few minutes when it's all done and give you some of my tips and tricks to make it go smoothly. And with a little bit of TV magic, I'm done. So I ended up using our Sparks of Magic Variety Mat Pack to decorate my card. And then I used the large five inch circle on the inside track with my red blade to cut out three and a half inch circles. Um, and then I also just sort of took extra mats and cut them to create the center and the back. So on the outside, I you know, it looks a bit like this. I just used the same colors, red, black, yellow, and blue. Um, here you can write a, a really cute to from or happy birthday or whatever message you want. And then on the inside, I repeated the colors. I just used the other halves of the circles actually, and then cut another card here. So again, I used the three and a half inch circle um, for these circles here. And then with the center, I cut it to a little smaller than four by four, but bigger than three and a quarter by three and a quarter, just to give me a, a big clearance space in the center. So here you can write your message, um, you can affix your gift card, whatever it is you like, and then when you're ready, you just fold it up, and then maybe you place a sticker or something here to keep it um, sealed until your recipient is ready to open it. What do you guys think? Do you like this really cute little circle envelope card? I am loving it. I love that you can sort of close it in different ways, whether it be tops and bottoms, then left and right, or if you do um, sort of a spiral effect. Um, and then the, depending on how you close it, it really changes the look of the design, which I find really cute. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in. Thanks to you all. We have hit over 300 subscribers, so that's really exciting for about six months of work. Um, I'd love to see you guys next week. Make sure you like and subscribe. And then if you never want to miss another video, you guys can hit that bell as well. Bye!